Hey, what's up? It's Matt with MJ Gable. Um, I was asked a question the other day um, on our YouTube channel regarding being a diamond wholesaler. Um, it was a gentleman, I'm assuming, who subscribes to our channel, watches our content, and had a question on um, how to become a wholesaler or a diamond dealer. I really can't answer that question in one video. Um, I've been in the business 14 years. It, it took me a very long time to get educated in the business, understand how the business works. Um, I mean, I did dive right in and I'm still learning to this day, um, even with 14 years under my belt, trading diamonds and um, dealing in diamond and diamond jewelry. So um, the best thing that I can say is if you're interested in the diamond business, um, I would probably get with a company or somebody that you can shadow or that will take you on as an, as an apprentice. Um, there is a ton to learn and you could lose a lot of money um, trading or buying diamonds if you don't know what you're doing, especially now that there are lab-grown diamonds into the mix. Um, I remember one of my first deals meeting a, a client and I think it was a Panera um, and we had left with some merchandise and brought back to, at that time, my apartment and um, reviewing those goods and thinking that one of them um, was a moissanite. I remember doing like the water test with a flashlight. I didn't have the right testing equipment. Didn't end up being a moissanite, thank God, because um, I think I'd purchased that one. The others we were going to broker for the client. Um, so... It, <laughs> There is literally so much to know. My wife, who's in the business with me, um, actually went to school to GIA to become a gemologist. Um, school doesn't necessarily intrigue me. I'm horrible at it. Um, I'm much more of a hands-on type person and getting involved and diving in. Um, I am still considered a jewelry expert, but my wife for sure is a documented um, gemologist and appraiser through GIA. So um, I've got her as a backup, but um, I can kind of carry my own and, and do pretty good I'm, I'm you know by myself but um there's a ton to learn um not just you know the diamond market and the value of these pieces and how to buy them uh, but how to grade them accurately so the grading and understanding what you're looking at how to identify an si one or two to an i1 or a vvs to a vs or a G to an H color is very, very important. That's how these diamonds are valued, is the carat size, um, the cut, the clarity, and the, and the um, color of the diamond. So without having the knowledge on how to do that, you're not gonna be very successful at it. So my advice to you is if you're looking to get in the diamond business or in the jewelry business, is find somebody that is willing to um, kind of work with you as an apprentice and teach you those things. Um, I've done this with a few individuals. Um, they've since moved on. Um, I don't think any of them are in the diamond business. They still have an interest in it, but they're not necessarily doing it. Um, it can be tedious work. I mean, it's it's difficult to buy something at a smaller margin and be able to sell it at a higher margin and understand what the market's doing, what it can do, what it can't do, the maximum value you can get out of it. And we obviously consult with a lot of jewelry professionals and individuals and wealthy families that are looking to sell pieces. Um, that's primarily our function of our business. So if you're interested, um, I have thought about doing um, some type of mentor program or coaching program when it comes to the diamond business and teaching somebody or individuals. Um, if you're interested, certainly reach out. But um, how to get in the wholesale business, find somebody that's willing to train you and teach you um, and start there. That's all I got.